go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, geez. Some of these girls looked pretty young, pretty young, pretty young. So there is a streamer, his name is Vosh. Vosh streams on Twitch. He is a political streamer, a grown man. And recently I've seen his very, very controversial opinions, mainly just making him a creep, a plain creep. Like this guy's gross. How I found out about this guy was Twitter. One day I was just scrolling and I seen Vosh and it says he accidentally opens, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. Kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh. So he apparently showed, it's just, I don't, it's disgusting. I don't even want to say it. So I seen that and I was like, okay, that's disgusting. There's no way that's real because drama alert tweeted it and they tweet a lot of BS. Like some of their stuff's probably not real. So I decided to do my research today. He actually released a apology video, I guess the context video. He didn't even apologize because there is no apologizing needed. This is just a crime at this point. I watched about an hour of this and I really can't stand this guy. This guy actually just pisses me off because he tries to normalize. I'm not even gonna say it again, but it's just disgusting. He gives context on the clip where he opens up. I wanted to look at an image more closely, so I right clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally instead clicked the save as tab in the right click drop down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated, notice how he brings the most important part of this, him allegedly bringing up on his Twitch stream. Notice how he brought this up one hour into the video. The part of the video is labeled the taxes folder. No one knows what that means, buddy. He just didn't want to put it in the beginning of the video and actually say what it was. A fucking idiot. My preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called to be sorted, where every image, document, music file, whatever I happen to download gets sent. Uh, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer, but you know, there you go. It, it's insane. Yeah. It's me. So I hit save as and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had in it. So I, I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD, even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. It's TOS. Uh, you got to delete the VOD. So uh, I, I, I stream with no delay, and folks are always screen capturing the feed, so I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably. So this guy's just using big words to confuse people, but what he's saying is he basically just saved the picture and it showed his contents in the folder. To be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because it made me look like a careless idiot, not because I was ashamed of the, like, furry demon monster gf big dick stuff I so grown man a political streamer is talking about this right now like that is just insane to me i mean that's I besides there, the point you know, i rambled disgusting. about liking all that stuff on stream before not a secret and i thought you know maybe yeah we know uh, in a buddy. way oh. this up would come across kind of charming uh, that's my streamer that an idiot right there my community was already making a big joke of it by the time i went live again of course, I knew as soon as the folder opened on stream that it would be pretty easy for people to lie about what it contained, to stir up drama or cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on in that stream, one or two people came into chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet that two of the images in my folder preview window uh, were actually from a well-known Lolicon artist and therefore definitely intended to be Lolly. So when I was watching this, I was like, what is Lolly? And I looked it up and it's underage girls. And I'm not going to say the rest, but you, you can understand. And I thought that was very weird. And this guy just says, oh, I didn't know. I found out the next day. It doesn't matter, buddy. You had it on your computer. That is sick. Now it gets worse and worse and worse as we go on. This sick f is not banned on Twitch. I'm not trolling. This dude showed literal minors on Twitch. I don't know how to word this without sounding insane, but this dude showed 
key on Twitch. And here his account is. All his VODs are gone, but his account's here. Like, this to me shows everything. Like, a political streamer does it, it's fine. I mean, this dude, if you guys know of him or have heard of him, you probably know him for some weird stuff. Because I've never heard of him, and I started watching his, like, controversial clips, and they are very weird. If you just look up his name on Twitter, you'll see the weirdest clips of him giving out his opinions. Uh, nobody disagrees with me on the argument that I'm making here. I hope if I had only known then what my future would hold, then maybe I would have uh, optically workshopped it a little more. Uh, on to the next one. Like, look at that weird Discord screenshot. I don't even want to read that one out loud, but someone tweeted at him and said, why would you as a grown man not be more responsible or careful about not saving content? I mean, that's just common sense. You're a grown man, you're a political guy, you're smart. So I went to his Twitter and this is his bio. Libertarian, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. I don't really know anything about politics. That's why I'm not a political person, but socialist, homosexual, racial hyper justice, ultra feminist, world's only advocate for transgender rights, live streamer homosexual. He already said that. I actually do not know what any of that means. He tweeted out five days ago. He said, all right, fine. I'm making a response video. It's going to be a big one though. So it'll take a little while. Whether it's not engaged within good faith, I want my audience at least to have everything laid out clearly and truthfully. So this dude said, I'm going to make a response video, not an apology, a response. There's nothing to respond to, buddy. Like there's literally nothing to respond to. You're creepy. You're weird. I mean, his Twitter's just filled with political things. But again, when you look up his name, you'll see very, very weird, creepy clips of him it is possible please uh, please right now uncuck your dumb shit lip fucking sjw brains and recognize this empirically correct fact that i am about to spit it is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. This guy is sick in the head. I've never seen that clip before. I've seen many others of him saying things along that line, but this one is crazy. And the fact this only has six likes on Twitter, this guy is a creep and I'm surprised no one is really talking about this. It's not like this guy is irrelevant or anything. This guy has over 400,000 subscribers and he's live right now. I mean, he just posted the context video five hours ago. It has 100,000 views. Somehow this dude has 11,000 likes on the video. People are sticking up for this guy. Like I see all over Twitter, this guy has a cult fan base just sticking up for him. I don't know if they're also creepy, but I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. None of this is a secret. I just, to be clear, you know, many jokes have been made about this, but I stand by it. My moral principles are rock solid. I'm, I'm my feet are firmly planted in the ground. What? My boots up. They're planted firmly. You, you cannot move me from my position. This isn't a secret. No one is arguing with you about this. You're talking about being a horse so you can f a woman. You're gay. You're not even straight. I don't understand how that works, but that's, I don't care. But no one is, don't do that. Why are you saying this? I thought political people are professional. You're talking openly about being a horse for your pleasure. Like, dude, you're actually so sick. This is not real. Like, how is this real? I, I don't even know. Uh, let's talk to a therapist. Well, why do you want to be the horse, Vosh? Because then I'd have a giant dick. Okay, couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way? Well, yeah, I could. Like, yeah, I could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios, but then it wouldn't really be a horse. Dick. Well, you could be a human with a horse. Dick. Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy. You no one is talking to you about this. You're literally coming up with scenarios in your head. Oh, what about this, this, and this? And then you respond to yourself. You're sick. Keemstar tweeted that. He said, Vouch needs to be put down in Minecraft. Hey, uh, we got good and bad news. Good news, we got your payment, buddy. <laughs> Bad news, uh, they gave you life. <laughs> Sayonara. Yep, that's his lawyer. That's honestly the best way to explain it. I mean, people just show crazy screenshots of him saying weird stuff on Discord, which I can't show. But yeah, this tweet that Drama Alert put out has 14 million views and 25,000 likes as of nine days ago. No one's really been talking about it. Yeah, there's been a few people that are like, this guy's weird, but no one's really said how weird this guy actually is. I cannot wrap my mind around how he's not banned on Twitch. He showed literal he on stream and he's not banned. That is the craziest shit. So this guy named Sensitive Society made a video on Vouch. He said, Vouch is beyond disgusting. That's the proper way to word that. And now here's where it gets very dark and creepy. He plays some of his controversial opinions. An opinion is one thing, but when you go against just like morals and the law, it's just disgusting. So let's play that for you guys. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. <laughs> harassed a girl and then said she doesn't even deserve basic human rights poppy is not worth apologizing to she is barely worth the fucking in intrinsic human rights to which all human beings are endowed okay 
Um, it, she is a disgusting human being. And that doesn't mean what I did wasn't wrong. It does mean I will never apologize to her. Or outright re I have no clue what he's talking about. It just gives off that vibe where it's like, just shut up, you know? Just for fun. It is possible for an adult and a child That's to have disgusting. a stable relationship and for it to have positive outcomes. On disgusting, the child, bro. Kyle's right, who by child, mm -hmm. would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. If someone is constantly defending. Bro just defended buying, I don't want to say it. It's disgusting, bro. And access to like Lollicon or whatever. Well, um, I would I would I would assume there is a correlation between people who really want to believe that and and people who are pedophiles. So Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that. The widespread consumption of hentai lolicon, whatever, you know. I um I still think that uh it, it, it normalizes quite negative things, you know. We have at some point in our lives been going crazy on some hentai site and we've been stroking as hard and fast as we can we, we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh geez oh boy some of these girls looked pretty young okay i don't give a f all right crazy what no one is doing that you are f***ing sick this dude just said guys we all have done this and says that crazy shit. bro get this man a f therapist put this man somewhere where he belongs imagine how fucked up his brain is to think that's normal and be like chat you guys agree with this right no we don't no we don't it's easy to think he wasn't joking here if you're into lolicon like people always say this people always say bro it's just drawings okay drawings of what right civil war okay states rights over what you know why is this man talking about pleasure politically you are a political streamer but this is all i've seen you talk about i've never seen you talk about politics on a clip i have yet to see that but this dude just debates with his chat why are you into that what elements of that are you into you know and i think there's no way to answer those questions without at least being somewhat introspective about the underlying issues. It made people wonder if he was projecting. Suddenly screaming out of context was no longer a good excuse. And Ethan would destroy that narrative. Why is the possession of child pornography immoral? Because it hurts people to make child pornography, yeah? Because you have to hurt children to make it. That's why it's immoral. It's not magically immoral. It's immoral because of the harm that is caused by it. So, do we not possess other things that You sound like someone who's trying to rationalize production? child like argument. exactly what he's doing in my eyes i'm looking at this he's defending it he's trying to normalize it and just being like oh well if this is legal then that's legal too yeah there's illegal things in the world you can't just go rob a bank i mean turn me into a fucking political streamer at this point right the that i was making essentially is that people are inconsistent in their moral outrage everyone is everyone's are. inconsistent with everything we're all hypocrites we're all liars we all make mistakes but this is not a mistake buddy like what are you doing hurt people when they're produced okay. so people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate or um you know or or cobalt or other you know products that we tend to get through a really really unethical system but then they're really really quick to denounce <laughs> this man says you eat chocolate and you dare to care about chocolate Literally. That's what his point is, right? Those things can be produced ethically. But you believe that some consumerism is more ethical than others, right? Not all consumerism is equal, right? It's not all equally unmoral, right? I would I would argue that in a in a, a um in the sense as to its outcomes, yes, obviously there are some forms of consumption that are less ethical than others. But in terms of what it means for an individual's like ethical state, I would not argue there's a difference. I would not argue. I mean, I don't want to watch this anymore. I have no clue what he's saying. He's using political terms to talk about this disgusting topic. But yeah, I just really was so interested on how is this guy, how does this guy have a platform? Someone needs to check this dude's hard drive. It's just insane to me how he is on Twitch streaming every day and he has over 400,000 subscribers on youtube this guy has power he can make his viewers think whatever he thinks he could be like guys this is right blah 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 blah. you know how many people he probably brainwashed because of the words he uses and his influence and power i'm no exposing channel or anything but i just really wanted to give my opinion on this because i can i just found this super interesting this guy also lost 10,000 subscribers today i mean you had that coming so yeah man uh, a lot of drama going on on youtube right now and i figured i'd just bring this up because I've not really seen anyone talk about this. And this one I personally found disgusting. Vouch, if you're watching this, you're disgusting, buddy.
She touching all of my body, touchable like Rambo. They telling me my music's fine, feeling like a candle. She wish me in her hand, said it. She's about to handle.